We want to start with this story today, the um, report on transport, which is basically recommending that we introduce the likes of your free public transport, you push the cars out of the city centres and you create these cycling super highways. There's even a suggestion around car sharing. It's all part of the climate action, the environment plan, which is looking at how we can reduce our um, transport emissions by the end of the decade. What are your own thoughts on those suggestions? 53106 if you'd like to share them with us here on the News Talk text line today. Like I think all of these things are great. They're really innovative, much more environmentally friendly, all of that kind of stuff. It's brilliant. But how practical is this? It needs to be trialled. I just think it's kind of fantasy stuff outside of the city. Like if I was back home in Ballyshannon in Donegal, the idea of car sharing wouldn't really appeal to me. How practical is it? And funny, I am that guinea pig because in the last two weeks I actually got rid of my own car. So yes, I live within walking distance of work of Dublin city centre. I use Dublin bus when the weather is bad. But like in my two week experience of being carless, it's actually quite difficult to navigate around Dublin city. You tend to have to come into the city centre to go anywhere to go horizontal, vertical, wherever you want to go within Dublin, you've got to come into the city centre to go back out of it. And like last minute, you know, I decide now I want to go home for the weekend to Donegal. Sure, there's no train. You want to get the bus between the stopover in Cavan that you have to do, you'd nearly be in Singapore as quick. So what do you do? You rent a car, fine, grand, look into car rental, considerably cheaper to do it out at the airport. But then you've got to get the bus from the city centre to the airport and Friday evening traffic. Then you've got to go to the arrivals terminal. You've got to get the shuttle bus or a taxi then out to where you collect the car. And then you hit your, you start on your journey and you head back to Donegal. So I just think all of this kind of stuff is great. But the transport system has to link up. Carless cities, you know, your super highway cycles, whatever you want to call them, needs to be accessible. It needs to be really attractive, like make make it easy for me to be without the car. And you've got to do that and roll that out in the cities before you ever start looking at rural Ireland and how you're going to ask people there to live without cars or car share. But look, that's only my own thoughts on it.